Hello, my fellow gnomes. Have you ever wanted to be able to tell if one part can see another part? Well, this is ray casting, and today I'll be showing you how to do this so we can see that this part cannot see this part because it's red, but if I was to move it over here, I would find this semi-transparent part. It becomes yellow, showing we could see it, and if we move it round back over here, it's going to become red again because it's out of sight. So this is ray casting, which allows you to draw a line between two parts and it's the subject of today's video. Okay, so first off, we're gonna make sure we have our Explorer properties and output window all open. And then we're gonna go and insert a sphere over here. And we're gonna add in another one, we'll duplicate it and put this one over here. And we'll name this second one, we'll name it uh, target. So one called part, one called target. And we'll add in a script and I'll local. We're gonna say uh, a equals workspace dot part and our target we can just call b for the now local b equals workspace dot target and what we want to do is we want to see if we can draw a line between these two parts a and b so we're essentially going to be drawing a little block like this all the way and seeing if we can get it to hit the target part so what we're going to do is we're going to say local ray cast result equals workspace and workspace has a method called ray cast and it takes we'll see a few different parameters now the first of these is the origin the origin is where we're going to start the ray from so this is simply uh, the position of a so a dot position now the next one is the direction now in order to get the direction we actually uh, need to subtract the position of the target part from our starting part. Okay, so we'll say local direction equals b dot position minus a dot position. And then we can feed in that direction value. And once we do that, we're going to simply print out the raycast result so we'll go ahead and we'll click run and we see in the output now we have raycast result and we have this long table with loads of information but we see it's printed out target and a bunch of details about the thing we've just hit now if i was to i'm not going to change the script but i'm going to add in a new part it's just going to be a wall i'm going to place it in between both of these two parts and now if i click run we're going to see Raycast part. So it's now hitting this wall and it's not hitting the target. So let's add a bit more logic here. We'll say if we have a Raycast result and Raycast result dot instance, then what we could say is how about we make it a special color? So Raycast result dot instance dot color and we could set that to a bright red color, whatever we hit. So color three dot new one zero zero. So now if I hit run, we can get a bright red uh, wall part. And if I was to move the ball out the way and run again, we would then have our target nice and bright red. Uh, so how about we wanted to actually filter this out? Maybe this is uh, like a semi-transparent window, okay? So we actually want to be able to raycast through it. Well, for that, we're going to need some Raycast parameters. So how about we, we name this part uh, window and then we'll go back into our script and we're going to create something. So local params equals Raycast params dot new. And so now we can set different uh, parameters for it. So params dot and we could say filter type equals enum dot filter result filter result dot nope that's the wrong one enum dot raycast filter type dot blacklist and so this is anything that we want to ignore from our raycast and then we'll say params dot and we will say filter descendants instance and we set this equal to a table so this is a table of various things we want to ignore and we only have one thing we want to ignore, so it's nice and easy. We just type in workspace dot 
window. And once we have these parameters all created, we just need to feed this in to the Raycast method. So we add a comma and we type in those params. And now if we go ahead and we click run, we'll see that the red part is again being highlighted because we can see all the way through. And it's ignoring the, the window on the way. But if I was to add in, say, another part here, right, this one isn't a window, then this one would then be red. There we go. And if we wanted to make this a little bit more interesting, we could have the whole thing happen on a loop. So how about we uh, create a, let's say, while true do, and we could put all of this inside of a giant loop. And then of course at the end, because we're doing a while true loop, we're going to have to wait. So pass dot wait, and we'll wait one. So we're only doing this every second, rather than just trying to do everything for an infinite amount of times in a uh, minuscule amount of time, which isn't really going to work. So let's uh, instead we'll check if the raycast result dot instance. So if that equals 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 our target part. So if it equals B, then we will set the uh, B dot color to be equal to uh, yellow. Else we will set it to be equal to red so we'll know whether it's visible or not so if we go ahead and click run you can see it's currently red because you can't see it and if i move it over here into this middle area it becomes yellow we can move it around back to red again middle area it's yellow and if it's on top or anywhere around here it's going to be visible but back here it's going to be red now they're rolling all over the place but there we go that is ray casting so thank you very much for watching if you found this video helpful then be sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe and be sure to leave a suggestion of anything else you'd like to see in a future video. Goodbye.